Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add 3D waves to your coasters using the Larez Angel White Epoxy Paste. But first I wanted to show you really quickly, Laura from Laura's Art Corner got some really pretty opulence glitters. They're super holographic. I made this snowflake with them so I just wanted to show you how pretty they are. I will link them down below if you guys want to check them out. So here we are, these four ocean inspired coasters I made previously. I will link that video down below and leave it at the end card screen if you want to check out that video to see how I got them to this step. I was trying to add waves to them and it just wasn't working out. They ended up turning out really kind of just soft and I didn't want that. I wanted more of a cell look. So to prep these, I taped the back with, or actually put liquid latex on the back to prevent resin drips. And I also sanded them a little bit with some, just by hand, with some 320 grit sandpaper. Cleaned them with some isopropyl alcohol. And I'm adding my clear resin to each one, making sure that the surface and edges are 100% covered. I'm using the general use epoxy from the epoxy resin store and you'll see it's really good. It's a great viscosity for getting cells and lacing on your waves. I'm adding a little bit of the angel white and putting some clear next to that. And I wanted to show you the difference between using high heat and low heat. So this first wave I went in with high heat and you can tell I didn't get many cells. So it is possible to overheat the angel white. So you want to go in on low heat and that will give you the cells and lacing. Um, the heat guns get really hot even on low it's 500 degrees so low heat and I'll show you here this is using my heat gun on low and if you just watch it you'll see that cells and lacing start to develop and you just want to leave it alone after that. As the resin sets up everything will kind of self level out and expand a bit and it'll turn out really pretty. You don't want to overheat it at all. You can see on the top left and like the bottom right coaster I'm starting to get some cells so I was just adding a little bit more white to the base of these coasters and I'm just going to go in with low and move that white over and try not to disrupt the top wave. It's really hard to do that but that's all I did. Super simple and easy. I'm going to cover them up, let them dry for 24 hours and I'll show you what they look like when they're all nice and dry. So here they are 24 hours later. I peeled the liquid latex off the back of them off camera. I already have a dedicated tutorial showing step by step how to do that. I'll link it down below as well. But here they are. You can see that pretty lacing and cells from the Angel White. It's really good when you use it on low heat to give you pretty waves. And like I said, I use the general use epoxy from the epoxy resin store and I'll link my discount code down below. You can get 20% off if you want to try out their resin. It's only like $40 a gallon, so it's pretty affordable and it's great for all projects. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I wanted to upload this video really quickly just to show you how you can add waves to your coasters and be sure to check out the creation video for these coasters. Um, I was trying to create a beach scene all in the silicone mold and you could see it didn't really work out but I think they still turned out nice and you can see how I got them to the step before I added the waves. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing good. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye!